Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for late stopping by. Please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if this is your first time of coming out here. Thank you very much once again. May God Almighty bless you all. The Nigerian army has accused members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, of killing two soldiers in Imo State. Sahara reporters had reported how A.M. Linus, a master warrant officer in the army and his private officer wife, Pet Gloria Martyr, were shot and beheaded on Saturday. After beheading the couple, the gunmen were said to have called their family members to mock them. A gory video of the incident seen by Sahara reporters showed the gunmen putting the heads on the victims' chest after the incident. A phone conversation with the suspected gunman believed to have been initiated by a friend of a slain female soldier has also surfaced online. In the phone conversation obtained by Sahara reporters, a suspected gunman admitted that he killed the couple. The gunman said they were aggrieved that the military has been constantly killing innocent residents residents in effort to tackle them, gunmen. It is quite unfortunate that it is this way I killed both of them yesterday, the suspected gunman was heard saying in the phone conversation. Reacting to the incident, Ami spokesperson, Unye Manwachiku said, the evil acts one too many clearly pre Pretends the deep seated hate, depression, and lawlessness with which foot soldiers of IPOP stroke ESN have been unleashing terror on Ndigbo, whom they claim they are on a mission to protect and emancipate, as well as other innocent Nigerians who are residents or transiting the Southeast. He added, The Nigerian army. NA on Saturday, 30th April 2022, received information on the Grosson barbaric and most despicable manner in which members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and its armed affiliate Eastern Security Network ESN murdered in cold blood two soldiers, Master Warrant Officer MO, MWO, Agudu. M. Linus retired, and the private pet Gloria Marty, who were on transit to Imo State for their traditional wedding. Oh my God. Apparently, the soldiers had embarked on the trip to fulfill the traditional rites of con conjugating their matrimony as the very well respected and cherished Igbo tradition demand. Ironically, the fact that one of the soldiers Gloria Matu, who hails from Nkwere local government of Imo State, has an ethnic affiliation with the good people of Southeast Nigeria, did not prevail on the sensibility of these descendants. This gruesome murder, in which they did not spare even their own child, clearly despites callousness and it's indisputable bruising art of terrorism perpetrated by IPOP stroke ESN. Though the descendant group, the descendant groups has have continued to live in denial while masquerading as unknown gunmen in their criminal violence campaign in the region. The Nigerian army will ensure the perpetrators of these evil art unleashed on its personnel do not go unpunished. Why we deeply condole with the families, the relations and close associates of the victims. The Nigerian army has commenced investigation to unmask and bring the criminals to book. The members of the public are pleased and joined to obligate security agencies actionable information that will lead to the arrest of these criminals. Attacks by army men have increased in the southeast in recent times. The attacks after the target 
security agencies and government facilities. IPOP, an outlawed group, has been linked to the deadly attacks in the region, but the group has reportedly denied its involvement in the attacks. The leader of the group, Nandi Kano, is currently detained in Abuja, where he is facing trial for treason. Everything they will blame IPOP, even when they see evidence, they will still blame IPOP. But I thank God, whoever God has blessed, no one can curse. But my question is, why are you still holding IPOP, forcing them to be in one Nigeria? With you, they have said it open, allow them to go, allow them to go. How do you spill innocent blood in the name of agitation? And you think other regions will support you? Violence does not pay. I pray it will see reasons to stop this ugly violence. If care is not taken, it may destabilize that region sooner than you think. This is how Boko Haram started. All this propaganda can never keep Nigeria one. Nigeria is disintegrated already. Nothing will stop Biafra restoration or heal Biafra. All this why the herdsmen have been killing, I have never heard of the military say that it is herdsmen. They will only say it's bandits or terrorists despite farmers running and shouting all at the same time. The army has never mentioned herdsmen, but here, yeah, the same army is calling out IPOP without any sign, single evidence, and all you, including the Northerners, are shouting IPOP terrorists, knowing full in fact that Mazin and the Kano will soon go to court this month. Well, continue. I just blame the so-called IPOP that has not gathered enough evidence to, you know, disgrace all your claims. All the videos I see are people covering and backing cameras. That is not a trusted video, okay? Why saying IPOP? Has Nigerian army blamed any Fulani for any little killing in the Nigeria? It has never happened under this administration. In fact, the body language of all police stations in Nigeria shows that no Fulani should be heard for any atrocities committed in the South. The reason you have not seen any Fulani being heard for his killings here and there by Nigerian police, aside those apprehended by local vigilante, of which you will hear nothing again if handed to police. He said, so guys, what's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.